Hey guys, what's going on? It is Ash here coming at you today with a Lumberjack deck that is actually effective. So I got totally smoked by this deck, so I thought I'd share it with you guys. It's not 100% complete yet, as I just basically copied the deck that my opponent used. So I haven't really tweaked it and made it my own yet, but I want to share it with you guys because I'm so excited about a Lumberjack deck that actually works. So I'll show you the deck in my deck selection screen in just a bit, but I kind of wanted to hop right into this tournament here because I'm in the middle of the tournament and hopefully I can finish in the top three or at least top five or ten uh, using this deck. So here I'm kind of in a stalemate here. I'm going to play a few live matches and then I'll show the replay of when I got totally destroyed by this deck. So I actually should have started out with the giant here instead of the lumberjack, but I, I, it can make it work either way. I need the lumberjack to get in front of the giant there and my timing was off there unfortunately. But the idea here is to let the lumberjack die and then the giant alone under the rage spell as you can see here does a ton of damage to the tower my minions under the rage spell are doing a lot of damage as well despite the poison spell so look at this right off the bat here I take down it looks like yes I take down the tower and I screwed up the deployment so this is why I love this deck so much you will notice that I'm not gonna lie it does have a lot of legendaries in this deck it has the ice uh, the ice wizard and the princess and the lumberjack so uh, it's really hard to substitute cards if you don't have the ice wizard and the princess as they are pretty important to this deck so this is more of an advanced deck for people who do have all the legendary cards but I am devoted to bringing a lot of free to play or no legendary decks I brought uh, two of them most recently I think uh, one or two days ago in my last Clash Royale video and I'm working on another one uh, right now but anyway to, to refocus on this match here it's looking pretty good I have the lumberjack he's just getting to the t to the crown tower excuse me and he's gonna die hopefully these minions are enough to take Take down that king tower it's not gonna be quite enough here I'm gonna put down another mini P.E.K.K.A and then we're just gonna wait and see what happens of course the rage spell goes away as soon as my mini P.E.K.K.A is arriving at the king tower but he gets two swings in it looks like that's gonna be enough I'm just gonna poison and that will be the match so this is a very very powerful deck now defensively you know you have to make sure that you save that mini P.E.K.K.A in case your opponent has the minor or the royal giant I haven't played a sparky deck yet with this deck maybe we'll get one now let's wait and see we're in 11th place right now so we're doing pretty well here uh, I already have one win before I start recording using this deck so we have two in uh, two and oh right now uh, very early on on this tournament so let's go ahead and start this one out again with a lumberjack uh, again I would okay forget it we're gonna switch to the mini P.E.K.K.A gonna defend against this hog here so he's coming out of the gate pretty aggressively we're gonna go ahead and counter and then play the lumberjack now this is what we want to have happen here lumberjack in the lead he's gonna die he's gonna drop the rage spell hopefully I have enough life on that mini P.E.K.K.A oh good defense there by him uh, to go ahead and distract that mini P.E.K.K.A we don't get anybody okay the minions get to the crown tower under a little bit of rage but that was a, a pretty fruitless attack of a pretty fruitless a push by us there so let's go ahead and reload and so the, the main combo of this deck I haven't pulled it off yet but uh, I'm sure you guys can guess by now but the lumberjack uh, having him lead the way and having the giant behind him or if you don't have the giant up having like a mini P.E.K.K.A followed by minions and a princess those are really really powerful especially under the rage of the lumberjack so essentially we're using the lumberjack as both a sort of a quasi meat shield because we want him to die so he's obviously going to be attracting all the uh, the firepower defensively uh, let's see if we can kill this witch here we can with one more shot from the princess and now again a little bit late on the lumberjack really not playing this deck as it's supposed to be played honestly right now I need to get the lumberjack out there ahead of the giant that's absolutely key here so the lumberjack's not gonna die in time you see the lumberjack dies and that rage uh, spell that he summons there the rage potion whatever it's called on his player card there is actually all wasted so we don't want to do that there's what not to do so do as I say not as I do right guys uh, so we're gonna go ahead and drop a poison here you're gonna see just in a second here how powerful a giant is by himself against a tower look at this giant against like four skeletons and a witch he still takes down that tower never 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 underestimate the power of a giant all by himself on a tower especially speaking defensively here let me just I'm scrambling here not paying attention as I'm opt to do when I uh, when I record and try to play so uh, now we have a mini P.E.K.K.A and a princess here but we did a good job on that right tower so again here I'm gonna go ahead and take my time let's kind of wait and see what he does here so a Valkyrie and a hog rider what oh boy the fire spirits are gonna totally kill me there 
Uh, it looks like he's probably going to take my right tower at this point. Let's go ahead. The Ice Wizard placed a little bit too forward into that Valkyrie swing. That was a, a poor defensive uh, job on my part. Let's go ahead and refocus onto the left side here. Hopefully take down this left tower and call this a match, guys. Uh, so, again, a little, little, little early on the Giant there by uh, yours truly, but I'm going to zap. Hopefully, uh, it doesn't really matter here because he, there he goes. That's the Rage spell. And here it is, giant against the tower, against the world, <laughs> and he gets a few good swings in there, so that's good. Ice Wizard doing a good job holding up all those sm small hit point troops. Let's go ahead and drop a poison here on this witch, and if we zap, we'll be sure that the witch will die. Poison plus zap always equals a witch death, by the way, guys, in case you uh, are curious there on the uh, as far as tournament standards go. Let's go ahead and drop minions on this uh, cannon and then the giant in the lane, and then we'll back that up again with a, uh, a Lumberjack here. So, uh, Lumberjack first, Lumberjack first, and then we'll poison the witch again, and then let's see if we can get a, uh, a zap here. Everything will die with that zap. Let's reload, rage spell on mini P.E.K.K.A. and minions. This is going to be my money shot here, guys. Let's do this. Come on. Ooh, very good zap spell there. Very good zap spell. That's not going to be my money shot. I take that back. Okay, let's reload here. Princess on defense. And then let's, you know, let's just get a nice push here, guys. I mean, you can tell that I just started playing this deck, right? I mean, it's not... The gameplay here is nothing to write home about by any stretch. But you can see how powerful this deck can be if used correctly. I have literally three matches. This is my third match ever with this deck. I need to get better at it. I need repetition. But you can see already the effectiveness that I'm having uh, not being a uh, uh, an experienced player with the deck. So it looks like I'm going to take down this left tower using this rage spell on just the mini P.E.K.K.A. and the uh, Ice wizard and the princess not even sure if she got the rage spell but either way we got the job done uh gg crozen by the way i think he's a twitter follower of mine so uh shout out to him and shout out to everybody who joins me on twitter here having a great time with these daily twitter tournaments at clash underscore with underscore ash i post the password on twitter every single day for my lunch break so guys join me for twitter tournaments uh sometimes i'm not able to play if i'm really busy but most of the time i do play let's get this right this time and start this match out with a giant and uh and Giant behind the King Tower here. He played an Ice Wizard. Not too, too worried about that. Let's see if we can get a 3 crown this time, guys. I know this is a powerful deck. I can just tell by how badly I was whooped with it. Okay, this is going to be a little bit of a challenge here. He has a Balloon deck here, and we don't have a lot of air targeting units. We have, obviously, the Princess. We have Ice Wizard, and we have uh, Minions. That's it. So, you know what? That, we can make do with that. We should be able to make do with that. Let's, let's try a Lumberjack really quickly here and see what he uses to counter against my Lumberjack. Again, guys, this entire episode, I am really butchering the order of these troops here. I need the Lumberjack to die before the Giant, not after the Giant, but either way, looks like we're going to have a, a decent amount of success with it, even doing it the wrong way, guys. So when you do this deck, when you use this deck on your own accord, make sure you go ahead and think about that, uh, that you want the Lumberjack to die before the rest of the troops, not after. But hey, we can't complain. We took down the left tower, and that's just, you know, illustrating Illustrating how, again, I'm repeating myself here, but how effective this deck can be when you really have a good harness on the the ability of the Lumberjack and how in the symmetry between the, uh, the Lumberjack and the rest of your cards in the deck. So again here, I'm kind of thinking this is an offensive deck, right? So it's an aggressive deck. You don't want the opponent to be able to play his game offensively. You want to disrupt things by keeping him guessing at when you're going to play that lethal combo next. So we're going to let that Ice Wizard die, and we're going to try the uh, Lumberjack. Lumberjack, uh, Mini P.E.K.K.A. and Ice Wizard on the right here. So this time my Lumberjack's going to die at just the right... Ooh, good counter there with those uh, bar Barbarians. Very good counter on his part there. Another Rage Spell wasted. So that is a good job at countering this, uh, this deck, obviously. If you have those Barbarians, if you play them in the back and you allow the Lumberjack to die, and you can take out the troops that are coming behind the push, behind that Lumberjack, obviously you can combat this, uh, this very lethal push that, that would otherwise take down your tower. So he counters with guards. Let's just go ahead and reload here. You can, you know, notice here that even though he has an aggressive deck, he has Royal Giant deck himself, I've stopped him from playing his game totally. Uh, he's barely touched any of either of my towers, and I've gotten uh, his tower down and a little bit of damage onto his king tower. So let's go again, just try to do our thing here, and now he's coming at me with Balloon and Royal Giant. I have the Rage spell, which I'm going to use, as you saw, defensively. Don't be afraid to use the Lumberjack on defense. Look at how effective that was, guys. I took 
took down the balloon and the lumber. Excuse me. I took down the balloon and the royal giant using the lumberjack rage on that ice wizard and uh, a couple minions there. Again, we're going to use a rage spell on the lumberjack. Again, we're not going to get too much out of that rage spell, but hey, we get a few hits anyway on that tower. A very good job, good game, and hey, we came out on top, so I'm pretty happy about it. So let's go ahead and show the match that I got wrecked when I discovered this deck in the tournament. So here are my recent matches, and here it is against Pi. So Pi totally smoked me. And, it, you know, in my defense, not to make excuses, because I do lose more than my fair share of matches, but I was trying this Royal Giant non-legendary deck to try to share with you guys. And you know what? I'm going to scrap that episode because of how bad I got smoked this one match here. So I'm pretty aggressive with the Fireball. I take out the Princess, do a lot of damage to that uh, Ice Wizard, and do some damage to the Tower. But look at this guy. He's he, he know You can tell he's been playing the deck a little bit longer than I have. You'll see how effective he is with this deck against me so I barely oh I don't take out the princess there I zap her instead I'm playing the hog rider royal giant deck here and, and, and to be honest with you I had a lot of success with the deck I like the deck a lot but I'm not going to share it with you guys because I did lose a few matches that I wasn't very happy about either so I don't feel comfortable sharing in a deck with you guys unless I really feel like I can you know really showcase the deck and you can win uh as long as you have like you know mediocre play skills you can win with this but here let me pause it right now this is where the match got out of hand he plays the lumberjack on defense and then he, t he does a few hits on my hog with the lumberjack the lumberjack dies the rage spell and then the poison spell takes out all my barbarians does some damage to my tower and then the giant under the rage spell pretty much takes off like 1500 hit points off my left tower ouch guys let's say it together ouch that hurt so at that point i'm like okay well you know what the match isn't over yet but little did i know i come out the gate pretty aggressive again with a royal giant he plays a mini pekka he plays a lumberjack again now mini pekka and lumberjack you can see him more more so than me in the previous matches he's using the lumberjack defensively to counter whatever i'm throwing at him and then with his elixir he just goes ahead and throws down any troop he has handy right behind that lumberjack and then they eat up that rage spell and they do a lot of damage to my tower at the very least they're able to take out whatever troops that i have countering that push so before i let you guys go i'll go ahead as soon as this match or this replay excuse me is over i'll go ahead and show you guys the deck and uh we'll go ahead and you can screenshot it if you want you can give it a shot if you want let me know how you do with the deck if you do indeed use it and also i'm working hard on a different variation of a lumberjack deck for those of you who don't have the princess and the ice wizard and it involves a golem so stay tuned for that it will probably be a little bit one of those longer episodes. I might play an entire tournament maybe with the deck. So guys, thank you so much for watching as always. I really appreciate it guys. And as always, take care.